Next tonight, we have received word that the Chautauqua County Sheriff's Office will be holding a news conference tomorrow where we expect to get an update on the investigation into a pair of human remains found last week near the rails to trails path in Portland. One set of remains is likely female and decades old. Detectives are looking specifically at three missing women cases. Patricia Lemmerhart, who went missing in 1976, Lori Bova, who went missing in 1977, and Corey Anderson, who went missing in 2008. Again, that update we expect will come tomorrow. Next tonight, police are asking students at SUNY Fredonia to be on alert after two students were assaulted. Our Anna Bueller spent the day on campus talking with students and school officials. I don't feel safe ever since that. Students at SUNY Fredonia are remaining vigilant after two assaults on campus early Monday morning. On two separate occasions, two students were confronted by a, uh, a suspect um, who uh, confronted them and uh, attempted to remove an uh, item of clothing. Jeff Woodard with SUNY Fredonia says university police are investigating the assault, which they say happened at 12.30 and 1.30 early Monday morning. Police say a male suspect, college-aged or slightly older, a approached the two students and attempted to remove their clothes. The victims were both able to get away. It's just like uncomfortable. Audrey Erickson says she and her friend were out and about around that time. And we saw him standing on the edge of campus, like smoking a cigarette. But she says they always walk in pairs. If one of us would have been alone, he probably would have tried to approach us. There are 29 of these blue emergency lights on Do campus and university officials the, say oh. this technology played a key role in getting the victims help right away. That was a major safety um, feature that was utilized. The university says at this time it does not appear the suspect is part of the school. Counselors are working with the victims involved. SUNY Fredonia is reminding every student to walk in pairs and contact police if you know anything. University police say there are several cameras on campus that are playing a key role in the investigation. Making good progress working with local law enforcement. Reporting in Fredonia, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.